Welcome. This lecture covers manufacturing method and type of heat treatment and various inspection carried out on the flange once the flange is manufactured. These are the almost same requirement which we have already covered in pipe manufacturing process. Flanges are manufactured by forging which can be done by hydraulic pressing or by hammering. Large diameter flanges are manufactured by ring rolling method. Final dimension of the flanges are achieved by machining. Depending on the type of the material Heat treatment are performed on the forged flange. Heat treatment is performed on the flange before it machine. The common heat treatment used for the forged blocks are normalizing, solution annealing, tempering, quenching, stress relieving or any other combination. Hydro test is not required unless specifically requested by purchaser. Code mandated that flange shall be able to withstand under pressure that of the rating of the finished part. non destructive testing are carried out on a forged block this will ensure the soundness of the flange material some of the non destructive testing are ultrasonic testing magnetic particle liquid penetrant and positive material identification magnetic particle test liquid penetrant test and positive material identification test can be performed on the finished product also to ensure the strength of the forged material destructive testing are carried out on a forged block These tests are tensile test, hardness test, impact test or charpy v notch test. To confirm the standard requirement of chemical element, chemical analysis of raw material and product are carried out. Some special tests are also performed if required by the purchaser. These tests are grain size, IGC, ferrite, HIC and sulfide stress corrosion cracking. Grain size test will ensure the effectiveness of heat treatment and confirmation of metallurgy with standard requirement. Once the flange is machined, flange are checked for any surface imperfection and overall product quality. During the visual inspection, you have to check for unfinished machine surface or damage on a serration. Being the machine product, no surface defect is acceptable. Dimension of the flange must meet the requirement of the standard. Dimension of the flange are stated in B16.5 and B16.47. B16.5 covers the dimension for the flange sizes from NPS half inch to 24 inch. For the above 26 inch to up to 60 inch dimension are given in ASME B16.47. Flanges are classified as per their pressure and temperature rating, which are designated as 150, 300, 400, 600, 900, 1500, 1500, 1500, 1500, 1500, 1500, 1500, Weld neck and lap joint flange also specified the schedule number to match with the pipe thickness. Well neck flange has a three component flange body which is circular thick part with bolt hole the second one is neck or hub which is long conical extended portion and the third one is rise face which is extended portion on the flange body during the dimensional inspection outer and inner diameter of the body bolt circle and bolt hole diameter hub diameter and thickness of the weld end length of the hub and straightness and alignment of the bolt hole are checked Permissible tolerance are given in ASME B16.5 and B16.47. Once the flange is clear by all the inspection, it shall be marked with manufacturer logo, ASTM material code, material grade, service rating that we have discussed, pressure temperature class that is 150, 300 or whatever applicable class. It shall also be marked with size, thickness, heat number and any other special marking such as QT for quench and taper. and if it is repaired by welding w shall be marked flange marking can be done by paint or by hard punching normally it is done by hard punching for stainless steel stenciling can be used flange are marked in flange thickness area which is the thickest part in the flange in this lecture you learn about different heat treatment chemical and mechanical testing hydro testing visual and dimensional inspection and marking on the finished flange see you in the next lecture